We're here to uh, honor the memory of our son and the changes that have been made in this country and this world because of, uh, of our loss of him to uh, a hate crime, a murder that basically has changed the world. And we're here because the National Cathedral of Washington was open-minded enough to want to include him here with the other honorees that they have. And we're very honored and thrilled to accept. We formed the foundation. We took steps to become involved in the movement in what little way we could. Um, totally believing all the time that this is what Matt would have wanted us to do and that we felt comfortable doing that in uh, for Matt and his friends. And then it just sort of took on a life of its own. It became something, um, the hate crime movement, getting the hate crime bill signed in 2009 by President Obama that now included LGBTQ plus people. The bill was named after Matt and James Byrd Jr. but it was the first time in federal law the gay community actually was given protection rather than having things taken away. Um, to me that was huge. And what followed was Don't Ask, Don't Tell being repealed and the uh, same-sex marriage being in law now. Um, what we missed was the non-discrimination, uh, job protections and public accommodations which we're still working on, but in the current administration, pretty sure that's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, we have an administration now who uh, is trying to take away things from the gay community, and not really just the gay community, but every marginalized community. This current administration is trying to remove protections from them. What upsets me as a father is we were blessed with a straight son and a gay son, and our straight son has more rights than our gay son. How in the hell is that possible in America when they're both born here, both pay taxes here, they're both required to vote here and everything else, but they're not equal? Whose business is it who someone loves? Originally, we wanted to just have a private ceremony here, and they said, let's open it up to the, to the public. Now, is that for our benefit or is it for theirs? But the fact that they were still willing to, to accept Matt is the important thing. And if, if they're using it for their own benefit, so be it. The things we gave to the Smithsonian are actually things we had not seen for quite a while ourselves. The two things I remember the most that, are, that I know are part of, the, of what they have is the Superman cape that Matt wore every day is very well worn, and uh, a ring. Um, there, in August of 98, I remember having a conversation with Matt about uh, same-sex marriage, because Hawaii was considering it. Um, so the ring shows me that Matt had hope for the future.